in the name of Jesus. I honor you, man of God. I want to honor the man of God, Dr. Emmanuel Ngoma, that has opened this door for me, that has connected me this morning. Because of him, I'm in Zambia, and I want to honor him for that. He is my mentor from the African Institute of Leadership and Governance, and I am under his mentorship. And uh, wow, my life changed completely the day I met him. His church name is People of Destiny, and that is what the Lord says. When I went to South Africa, to Durban, God says to me, there's destiny in this place. And I didn't realize the destiny that he was talking about. It was Dr. Ngoma. Originally from Zambia, staying in South Africa, but I had to meet him there. And today, I'm just so grateful. I want to encourage you to enroll in this program because your life will never be the same again. It is high time that the church takes its position because the government shall be upon his shoulders. Not upon the shoulders of the unrighteous rulers, but upon the shoulders of the righteous rulers. Hallelujah. It is time that you become the prayer that you pray for. For too long I've been praying for my nation. But God wanted me at the table where the deal are sealed. And this is what God is asking of the church today. To come in line, to come in board. We pray here, we sweat, we pray in tongues. And then people make decisions over us. And they abort the destiny of a nation. Just because they are not in right standing with God. Dr. Miles Monroe says this. When we have leaders that is unrighteous. We actually have demons ruling us. And if the church doesn't come in position. Then it means we are being led by people that have no leading of the Holy Spirit, that has no heart for the people, people that even doesn't have a vision for the nation, and we follow blind leaders because we don't have the courage to step up. And this morning I'm here to be that testament, to be that testimony, to tell you if God can take me, a church girl, and put me into government, God can surely do it for you. It is time that the church rise up in this nation and take Zambia for Jesus. Zambia is not taken for Jesus in the walls of the church. Zambia is taken for Jesus 